Good morning. I want to read to you from Proverbs 31, verses 10 through 12. It says, Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She's more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. Now, through the years as a pastor, and it's been 33 years, going on 34 as a pastor, and closer to 35 years in ministry. Um, through the years, <clears throat> I've heard a number of women state that Proverbs 31 makes them feel inadequate. They feel as if they don't measure up. Being a guy, it's really difficult for me to understand the feelings that this passage provokes. However, I would like to encourage ladies to refocus their attention. Instead of thinking of all the details listed here, zero in on the primary goal. To be a virtuous woman who enriches the lives of others, especially her family. That's the primary goal. Not the details. Let me explain. I think that many women read this passage thinking of the things that they don't do. I don't spin wool and flax. I don't get up before dawn to prepare breakfast for my household. I don't inspect and buy fields. I don't plant vineyards. I don't twist my own thread. I don't make my own bedspreads. I don't make belted linen garments and sashes to sell to the merchants. Hence, I must not be a virtuous woman. But I think that reading of this passage has the wrong focus. It's aimed at the details, not the overall intent. Honestly, the details may differ. Maybe you don't do those things, but you do others, like teach a classroom of kids every day, care for an aging parent, provide nursing care at a hospital. You order DoorDash while working late so that your family is well-fed. You babysit your grandkids so that your daughter and son-in-law can go out on a date and keep their marriage strong. You see, the focus is she enriches the lives of others. She brings good all the days of her life. It's not in the details. It's in the primary goal. I am so blessed that I have married a virtuous and capable wife. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for loving us. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to walk through our lives together with family. Thank you for... Um, caring for us through our family. I thank you for my wife. I thank you for the kids that we've been able to raise and the grandkids that we have now. And Lord, um, I thank you that I found a virtuous and capable wife. And Lord, I pray that you would help us not to be so hard on ourselves about the things that we don't do, but to understand that our goal is to, to be a blessing, especially to our families. And, uh, I pray, Lord, that you'd help us to have the strength to do that. Today, I want to pray in particular for Pastor J.D. As he goes through his surgery, he's at the hospital now, preparing, prepping for the surgery, which will take a while. I pray, Lord, that things would go well and that you bring him through this okay. Lord, we lift this day to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. I know I will. See you tomorrow.